Okay, I just brought home this bubble hockey game. I got it on Craigslist for about $60, but it was on somebody's back patio, so it's pretty shot. The bubble is faded and really scratched up and actually cracked on one side of it, so I'm going to have to completely take that out of it. The board is also warped out. Um, it, the puck really doesn't slide on it anymore. The players are a little faded and just kind of scratched up. Nothing too bad. I think I can probably just paint them. And uh, I'm going to have to redo the surface. It also has a scoreboard that um, I'm not sure if that works or not, but I'm sure I can uh, mess with the wiring a little bit, see if I can get that working again. And I might rebuild that just to make it a little bit uh, more authentic scoreboard. So um, let's see what happens. My first step was to remove the old board, and I just clamped it to what's going to be the new board. Once it was clamped down, I just took a pencil and traced out all the, the slots that I need to, to router out. As soon as I had all my pencil marks on there, I was just able to take my router and just router out the, the new grooves. Okay, the new surface is done, and one of the goals I had was to make this a lot more realistic. The you know the old board was kind of a generic uh, hockey rink. The 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 goals were just cheap little plastic caves, not really goals at all. So I got a McFarland um, goalie that came with a hockey net, and it's a lot more authentic looking. So I'm going to try to incorporate this uh, hockey net into the new game. Okay, now I got to repaint this surface. I'm gonna put in my, you know, my center line, my blue lines, the goal line, the creases. Um, all I did was mask them off and and paint them. And I'm gonna go with a USA versus Canada Olympic theme for this board. You know, the one I played growing up was USA versus USSR, but today the big rivalry is USA and Canada. So I'm gonna paint everything and uh, put some stickers on there for an Olympic theme. Once everything was done, I just took this clear seal, did like four or five coats, got a nice smooth uh, surface, and it's going to protect the stickers. You can see I had to cut my goal down to fit the goalie there. I took about uh, maybe an inch off the goal to shorten it up a little bit. And I'm going to make some new corners. So I just took some, uh, some plywood to make the new corners here, but um, unfortunately they're going to be a little bit higher. I want a, you know, a little bit better corner. So I'm going to have to redo the sides as well. So this is the plywood I'm using just to, to match it up to redo the sides. Now I'll just go through the process of taking this thing apart and rebuilding the four corners on it. I did a blue wood stain for the new uh, sides. And then just took the old board and put it right on top and then re-drilled the same uh, hole locations. That way everything matches up perfectly. Now I'm going to make some fancy cuts here on my miter saw to try and create the, the new scoreboard. I want the traditional jumbotron look, so i got to make some, uh, some beveled cuts. Now I'm going to take this uh, digital picture frame and try to put that into the scoreboard somehow. I'm going to load it up with about uh, 100 different images of uh, all the greats from the uh, different countries in Olympic hockey throughout the years. And just kind of let that scroll through all the different images while it's uh, setting up there. Now I'm going to get really clever and try and uh, hook this goal horn up to the scoreboard system. So whenever you score a goal, the horn goes off. Fuck now, let's open the net. Put them in. So the original scoreboard is not going to fit underneath this jumbotron. So what I'm going to have to do is take all the electronics out of it, and it has about 10 routing pins on each side that send the signal um, to the scoreboard so it lights up the correct score. So what I'm going to have to do in order to make this big enough is cut each one of those pins and then take about 4 inches of wire and re-solder them so that it's now uh, now fits in the new scoreboard. So. I also took out the batteries um, so that I can run this USB port to my 20 volt DeWalt um, battery 
That way I don't have to keep changing the batteries all the time. So I have no idea how, but I was able to get it all hooked up and it worked first try. Now I'm just making the new uh, scoreboard to hold the electronics. I'm going to take this LED light and uh, mount it underneath the Jumbotron to help light up center ice. This is just 3 quarter inch melamine. I'm applying this to the tops of the plywood I added just to clean it up a little bit. I'm just applying a frame here to the board. That way I can mount the Jumbotron and uh, some, some more LED lights I want to put on it. So I pre-drilled some holes all the way around the the edges here and now I'm coming back through with these craft sticks that I painted and I'm going to be putting these in just sinking them into those holes and they're going to be used to create the look of the glass going all the way around. I'm going to um, end up putting in some acrylic glass all the way around to keep the puck in play and I'm just using these boards to give it a more authentic look. Okay getting really close here starting to look like a hockey rink. I'm uh, putting in the, the uh, end glass and uh, this is about maybe 10 inches high and then I've got the neutral zone glass is going to be just a little bit lower again just trying to uh, give it a more realistic look just putting a little bit of glue on the, the ends there just for some support but here's the jumbotron going up and then I'm going to add just a, a strip of LED lights to each side so I had to call my little artist for help here she's helping me paint the players um, we're obviously doing the USA on one side and Ken on the other so uh, we're painting in the match. We're using the um, vintage 1980 uh, jerseys here. And once we were done with painting them, I printed off some decals onto uh, some labeling paper. And all I had to do is go back through and, and cut those decals out and then um, stick them on. And once they were all complete, I just came back through with some um, poly spray and just kind of sprayed over everything just to help uh, glossing it up and also help protect the decals. So that was pretty much it. Uh, all we did after that was add the players and then had a whole bunch of fun. So hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Uh, please like if you did and if you have any questions or anything um, just throw them in the comment section I'll answer them uh, as quickly as I can.